Here is something you have definitely never seen. So this turtle is called a terrapin and it is attracted to the blood on the lions. And just check out how these little creatures come in with no fear or hesitation. The terrapin never even gives a second thought to the fact that it could easily be a snack for one of these lions. Talk about having some big cojones. It's crazy because it's like the lions don't know what in the heck to make of this thing and what the heck to do with the turtle. This takes place in England where a man is lying beneath a tree just chilling out when a curious but friendly red fox comes up to see what's going on. Check this out. steal the kill from this lion. It's incredible size. <laughs> this huge but likely young male lion is trying to enjoy its meal, but unfortunately it's not the only one that's hungry. Check out these hyenas who are definitely formidable hunters in their own right. Hyenas have almost double the bite force of a lion. A lot of people don't understand how deadly they can be. There are a bunch of them and they gang up on this lion and the lion figures out that eh, it has no shot as it tries to engage with these hyenas. There are just too many of them. This is also the last time we saw this young male lion for fairly obvious reasons. And the hyenas just devoured that carcass from there on. To this front window. And climbed up the brick. And this glass is missing. This takes place in Toronto where a new home is under construction. But unfortunately there are some uninvited guests. Go. No, not in the wall. Come on. Go. Three. A total of 11 fat raccoons had made their home in this new home, and I must say they look more scared than anything else. Raccoons are usually pretty mild mannered, but as you know, once you piss them off, they turn into complete maniacs and will tear you apart. These raccoons were thankfully removed without incident. In this video, a hungry bear breaks into a home while the owners are asleep and the bad bear takes it upon itself to sniff around a little bit. I live in the south so forgive me for asking but let me know in the comments. When bears break in someone's house do they usually just leave on their own especially if they don't find any food or do they just tear up the entire house usually? What is this at our door? This scary serpent is trying to enter a home to get who knows what, and let's face it, it's no easy task to get a huge python away from there. So someone came up with a bright idea and was able to distract the python with an already dead rabbit. How much will someone have to pay you to go up to this beast and try to get it off the door? For me, there would not be an amount big enough.
Wow, who could expect this? Kangaroo attacking, attacking. Attacking the goat. I bet you have never seen a kangaroo and a goat get into it. Well, now you have. It looks almost like the goat wants to play and the kangaroo is being the serious one. As mean as this kangaroo is, I doubt that it could take a full charge from this goat and would get demolished probably, even though I know how rough and crazy kangaroos can be. This is no tall tale. They're usually the gentlest of giants, but it turns out there's one giraffe in the South African savanna who's willing to stick his neck out if you're driving by him in a Jeep. It started as the perfect safari photo op, up close with one of nature's most majestic creatures. So we said, wow, oh, that's nice, we can do pictures, and you know, everybody was so excited. Oh, he's behind you, and left. But then, uh-oh, the giraffe starts moving closer, the driver pulls away. Okay. Maybe now is the point to radio for help. But as the Jeep picks up speed, so does the giraffe, all 13 feet, two and a half tons of them. They try and get away, but the giraffe outruns the Jeep, sideswiping it at 30 miles an hour. Watch again, that crunch is the side mirror coming off. I'm not sure what prompted this giraffe to get aggressive. They're usually very laid back around humans, but this one was not trying to hear it. I'm glad these people are okay, because that would have been a bad way to go out for sure. What makes a person want to own this Pokemon looking creature is beyond me. Maybe it's just me, but I don't think ant eaters belong inside the house. What the hell is wrong with people? Anyway, as you can see, this ant eater is being all cute and playful with its owners. One of my questions is how do you feed these things? Do you take it to the backyard and just look for ant mounds? Do you raise ant farms just for the purpose of feeding your ant eater? Bottom line is just leave the damn wild animals in the wild, folks. A massive bee attack on a high school campus sent dozens of students to the hospital. It happened at Palmdale High School just after noon today. And CBS 2's Randy Page is live at the school where he spoke to students attacked by the swarm. Randy. What a crazy day here in Palmdale, Pat. That's exactly right. This happened just after 12 noon and many of the students were out in the lunch area. Also, there happened to be a beehive there. Well, one of the kids tossed something at the beehive, by one account, an apple, and the beehive fell, hit the ground, and the bees began to swarm by the hundreds. This crazy situation happens in Palmdale, which of course is in LA, where a swarm of bees attacked many students after one of them threw an apple and damaged the hive. You gotta understand that bees are pretty smart and they know that they will die when they sting you, which means they will only really attack if necessary. They're not like hornets and wasps that will just attack you for getting too close. You can bet these kids learned a very painful lesson, which is that if something isn't bothering you, don't bother it. This beautiful great horned owl is chilling in this nest. This is a male owl and night comes and the owl leaves. A hungry raccoon gets up there to get an easy meal, but gets a bit more than it bargained for, of course, because the owl is watching the whole time and makes it known that the raccoon is not welcome. Looking around for an exit strategy here. And this owl comes in and hits him hard, and I suspect that this raccoon is gone for good this time. This time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content like this. I am Curtis. Okay. See you next time. Do good, do great, and they talk bad on you. No me, no face, cause they're not factual. No, no, no. I won't stay too long here, I'm just passing through. I might hit the bank and get a bag or two. My mama asked me why you got that cash room.